to talk. They connect them. Daddy, I've been crocheting your Afghan quilt and scrapbooking oh, and keeping a photo album for us to share together of all our future memories. Oh my God, Dad. You Ooh, know too close. I am so happy right now. How'd you find me? Walking by another inmate cell and he was listening to this fruity idiot on the radio. And I went in and said, turn that tofu nonsense off now or I'm going to shake you. And then you said your name was Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. And I said, it can't be. And I left you and your mother. All of your books and one of those stand-up cardboard cutouts of you oming. Dad, we gotta do some touching shit together. Heartfelt. Man, your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh... Okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That! That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not oh, been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. 
Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa duct fuckface, is gonna give that to me. If America is a third world country, a multi-million dollar car rigged with special effects. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, packed, funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio! Yeah, 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 and I'm in a crop duster. 
This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough! You know, Ronald! Ronald! You there? Hmm, trouble! Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. We're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower or two. That's right, boss. myself out here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish, do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity! Identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just... 
just a lonely guy out dusting his crops. Who are you? Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course, or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Final warning. Divert, or you will be grounded. I'm gonna take my chances, pal. We are clear to engage.
Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Uh, uh, uh.